Hello, in today's video we want to show you how to create staking token. So first of all, uh, let's take a look on the code in the Solidity in Remix ID. So, uh, base thing is that we have the constructor with permitted things for the message sender, so for our address and also for the address of the contract. It's very important for the contract to have the tokens because we need them to spread out the rewards. Uh, pause and I'll pause, of course, for stopping and unstopping the functionality of the contract. Also means if we want to introduce another address uh, to be able to stake the tokens. So first of all, this address has to, has to mint some of the tokens to even uh, start working with staking. Mm, and we have the main functionality a little down below. So, main things we'll be going through is the stake, withdraw stake tokens, set interest rate, and handout rewards. So, mm, first of all, stake. What's going on here? Mm. We have to pass the amount, of course, because we want to choose how many tokens we want to stake. We'll transfer those tokens to the contract. Uh, and then we'll update the information that currently message sender, the current sorry message sender is staking the tokens right now. Uh, next thing we have to um, check what's going on with set interest rate because we want to spread the rewards, redistribute the rewards, but we have to do the math here. So uh, if we choose some value, let's say 200. And then you check in the handout rewards in the last function that uh, you have the calculation of the, of the reward. You can find the information that uh, there is the reward that is calculated and you can spread it to the addresses. Uh, so first of all, we will set the interest rate, of course, and then we will spread uh, mechanically uh, handout rewards for our stakers. And the last thing we will be going through is the withdraw. Because here we'll uh, make the balance zero. We'll send the tokens from the contract because we minted it. We mi we pre-minted it uh, before, and uh, the address who staked will get those tokens depending on uh, how high the set interest rate is. And that will be all for the overview. Now let's go for deployment and calling the functions. Okay, so now we can deploy the smart contract. Uh, we'll be using the local environment. Uh, there is no need to deploy it uh, on a remote node and uh, locally it will be easier to test. So uh, now as it is deployed, uh, we have to make sure that we have uh, all of the tokens minted uh, under our address. So we take our account address and use the function balance off to make sure that we have of the tokens it's in way so it would be actually 10,000 tokens but in like a, a full token not in decimals so uh, then we can uh, make sure that the smart contract has the reward pool so the same amount of tokens we meant for the smart contract here and uh, now we have to approve uh, we have to let the smart contract spend our tokens, so we paste the, the spender, well actually it should be our address, and we say how much tokens we allow it to spend, let's say 1000. If you don't, if you skip this step, you won't be able to stake your tokens, so it's very important. And uh, now we should be able to stake all of the tokens and uh, uh, here uh, we can check all of those methods for example has staked so for this we just copy our account address and call the functions uh, we also have the is uh, currently staking so not only has ever staked uh, this one is currently this one is like has ever staked so he could uh, stake the uh, tokens for example a year ago but then immediately withdraw but uh, it would stay true 
so uh, we have the uh, sort of history here and uh, then we have state tokens so it returns 1000 we have stakers so the first uh, first staker should be us and uh, staking balance says uh, how many tokens we've staked so it's 1000 so it seems to be working properly and uh, we can we can proceed so now it's time to set uh, interest uh, rate because there is no point in staking without interest rate so let's say it's 200 so it means that if we staked uh, 1000 tokens in our implementation uh, then we'll have 3000 tokens uh, when we get the reward 3000 tokens in total so if you want to change it so that it would be 2000 tokens if instead of 3000 tokens you just have to uh, tweak the interest rate calculator here um, according to your needs so now when the interest rate is set uh, you can check it in the getter so it's 200 like 200 percent and uh, then we are ready to hand out rewards and uh, when we do this uh, we should be able to go back to uh, stake tokens and see that it's 3000 so we have the 1000 from our account and 2000 from the reward pool uh, so uh, now when we withdraw all of the money using the withdraw stake tokens uh, we will get 3000 tokens so let's do this okay uh, we withdraw the money so now we can check the actual balance of the smart contract and balance of our account so staking balance should be zero because we just withdraw all the money balance of uh, is minus 2000 because we paid 2000 tokens out of our uh, reward pool and uh, we gave back 1000 tokens uh, that came from our account so the difference is 2000 and it's correct but we should also see whether we have 2000 extra tokens in our account from the reward pool so balance of our address and yeah indeed you can see that we have 2000 tokens uh, more now actually it's not 2000 like full tokens it's more like 2000 way uh, you would have to multiply it by decimals to use actual tokens and uh, so yeah it seems to be working that's about it though um, if you want uh, you can because it's just a playground it's not the actual staking you use in a you know real application uh, if you want you can uh, optimize the application because uh, there are some things that are kind of redundant or could be optimized so it's like a good homework if you want to improve your solidity knowledge and uh, if you have any problems with this, we also have a lot of other uh, Solidity and not only Solidity videos. So make sure to subscribe and check that. And that's about it from the staking. So thanks and see you next time.